And thus, our anime journey of Akatsuki no Yona has come to an end. Gonna miss this series quite a bit. I really am. Because I have unexpectedly enjoyed this far more than I thought I would. I walked into Akatsuki no Yona not really expecting a series like I have gotten and I have received through my journey of this anime. I expected it to be just a standard, you know, medieval type story about trying to take back a kingdom. But then it developed into something truly breathtaking as the journey continued. I have to say, Yona is one of the best female protagonists we have gotten in recent years. She is definitely one of the best. Because her character development through majority of this series to this very point at the end of this final episode has been impressive for a female lead. And also the other side characters, all these different side characters that has followed Yona on her journey has also gotten a lot of development. And that is a really good thing. So all our characters that are our main characters or supporting side characters have gotten the proper development to this point for we could all care about them. Besides the Yellow Dragon. The Yellow Dragon really, his overall backstory was kind of shafted in this episode because it was the final episode. But what they went about, the way they went about introducing the Yellow Dragon in this episode for the finale. It leaves me hopes that we might get a season two because the ending The way the ending was built up in this episode. It felt like we were getting another season I don't know if I was the only one that felt that but when I was watching this episode I mean you saw that declaration by Zeno or the yellow dragon. He's like hey, what are you gonna do now? You've assembled all the dragons. What are you doing next? What are you doing next Yona? And uh, are you gonna take back the castle? You're gonna take down Suwon? take down the traitor you know it was a loaded question that's exactly what the yellow dragon was doing to yona and yona pretty much didn't have any answer at the moment because she really never thought about that she only thought about collecting the dragons getting the dragons together and then figuring out what to do next she has never really you know fought ahead past that point and now she has to figure out what do i do next do i go off to the castle and run to try to take it over. If I do that, all the people that, you know, support Suwon are going to go against me. Like, majority of the kingdom looks at Suwon as if he's a savior. And so, you can't just barge in there and, you know, take out the emperor, you know, Suwon, like it's nothing. So, there's a lot of things Yona has to deal with at the moment. And that's what the ending finale of Akatsuki no Yona leaves us on. Making us think, like, what's next? What's going to happen next? Is Yona going to you know, go in and attack? Is she going to build an army? I mean, we have no idea, but the point of it is, is the episode just leaves us hoping that we might get another season. Or, it might be that type of series that says, go read the manga. That that's might be how it ended, too. But, regardless of that, the journey of the series is definitely a must-watch. Like, I truly recommend Akatsuki no Yona, from my standpoint, after finishing the anime's first season, if it does have a season 2, it's definitely a must-watch. Regardless if it doesn't have a season 2, it's a beautiful adaptation from what I've been told. A lot of Chibits have told me that this has been phenomenal when it comes to adapting the manga. It has been really good, and that is a really good thing, because, I mean, if you ever wanted to get into the series, you could watch the anime, and then you could travel over to the manga and complete the story there. So, I think the anime did its job. It introduced the concept of the series to a bunch of viewers that love anime and love manga and introduced this story to us where we could figure out if we want to go read the manga or not. And after seeing it, yes, I am definitely going to go read the manga because it's definitely worth a read after an ending like this. I'm building up all my expectations for the majority of this season. And you can actually look at season one or this series in general, this anime, as if it was just build up. It was just build up for the next part that that's exactly how you can look at this season because majority of the season was collecting all the dragons getting all the dragons getting them together and then figuring out what you're going to do next that's kind of what season one has been and so if season two ever does come out or in next parts in the manga i read when i do read it it will be probably about figuring out what to do next with suwon and we'll finally get into the real beef of the story. So I can't wait to see something like that. And I really do hope the BD DVDs in Japan sell properly or sell well enough for we could have another season. Because that's the main factor when it comes to anime in Japan. 
It, it depends on the sales in Japan if they're willing to make another season of a series. And I do hope that Akatsuki no Yona has been getting bought a lot in Japan. I really do, because the quality of the animation has been awesome. The music, oh my god, that ending song of Akatsuki no Yona, the finale ending song of this episode, damn. That just, that is one of the best ending songs of this season of anime, from Winter 2015, definitely one of the best. And then, you also have it to the characters, the, the, the voice actors, all sorts of stuff like that, just really good. So yeah, on point anime, I, I couldn't recommend it enough, it was a great journey getting to see all these different elements in the series, and I would rewatch it again, many times over, if I knew what I knew now from, from the series. So yeah, I am going to go read the manga. I don't know when I will catch up, but I'm going to start reading the manga. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.